All right, this is my 2004 Honda Ruckus for sale. Um, it does have an air filter. I just pulled it off because I was messing with some stuff. Uh, we, we painted the, the frame green. It's got a 150cc GY6 from Rucksters, less than 400 miles on it. Um, motor mount from Composimo. It's on the medium setting, but there is a long setting as well. Custom exhaust from Magixer 1000, and uh, this neat little swing arm here welded up by Jimmy at Obsession Motorsports. Not too loud, not too soft, maybe a little on the soft side, but really good sounding muffler. Um, shock, upgraded the ignition, gas tank cover, some man in the box, uh, peg legs with password JDM pegs, turn signals, speedo in the box. This is for underglow. Bars, grips, running one mirror. Uh, all in all, the bike is pretty, pretty well put together. There are a few little things. Um, one, I was talking about it was dying when it was when it was dropping revs. Good news is we fixed that. Turns out this was loose, where the carburetor slips into the intake manifold. Uh, the other thing we found today was the nuts right here that hold the throttle to the carb. This bottom one, or the top one, I can't remember, one of them has been unscrewing itself. And I really don't want to put Loctite on there. So what I'm probably going to do uh, tonight or tomorrow or in the next few days is pull the whole carb off so I can get two wrenches on here and really tighten them, tighten them good on there. Um, I cut this shroud a bit because I had a Composimo clocking flange. If you know what that is, you don't need to hear the next part. It moves the carburetor forward and angles it up a little bit. Um, and I've heard that with the angle, sometimes it messes with how the bike runs. And I don't know, mine was a little bit off, so I took it off. But it'll come with the sail. You can flip it around forward if you want to. It puts the carburetor right about here. The air filter sits right about here. It doesn't stick out past the seat frame. Uh, the thing it's doing now, and I don't know if it's because this carb, this was an extra carb I had lying around. It's clean on the inside, but it's running stock jets. How I had it running before, I had bumped up the pilot jet and bumped up the main jet a little bit. I can, I can include that carb with the sail also, and I got a few extra jets sitting around. But now, it's weird. It won't idle when you first start it up, but if you start it up, you go down the street, you come back... It will, it will run all day long without a single issue. And to prove it, I've got a video that I'll be posting later on uh, tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, I went out riding with Billy and Robbie and a few other people, and I've got like three hours of footage of me riding around. This bike didn't have one single problem except when you first started up it won't idle. But like I said, if you go wide open throttle, you shoot up and down the block once, you come back, the bike runs like a dream. So it might be the pilot jet, because when I had the other carb on it, it wasn't doing that. So it, it could be the pilot. I'll see if I have time to change it. But I'm really impressed. A lot of people got back to me real fast and said, Matt, we want to buy the bike. And um, so I may or may not have time to to do that. So, in case you haven't seen my other videos, let me start it up. Well, let's see if I can get it idle or not. That's about what it does. I guess the only other problem I've ever had with the bike is the rear brake cable. I put this through this headlight cage uh, because when I had it inside the box I guess there was too much stuff and when you'd go all the way lock to lock it would push against the box so I just rooted this on the outside and they all come down through here and paint's not bad um, you know the only thing that they that could stand to be touched up is when I did this all the first time I cleared the bike and I cleared the wheels, but I didn't clear coat uh, this when I painted it, and the black is starting to flake off. So this could this could stand a respray. 
Uh, but the whole rest of the bike's clear coat. It's just I did this early on before I ripped the whole bike down. Yeah, so there might be something fishy up with the carburetor, but other than that, I mean, those things are about 30 bucks brand new, shipped to your door. Uh, other than that, the bike's pretty well put together. Uh, we do have the R6 tail light. I took some Ethernet and just ran it through the frame here, popped out the bottom, brought it around. Uh, there's a little bit of spaghetti there, but it all works. It's all good. Uh, inside the battery box... I know the tabs on the inside here on both sides have snapped off, and that's kind of a common thing. Um, but the box stays on. Got the Speedo up here. The Speedo works. Uh, I backlit it green. Let's match the button again. I don't know how well you can see the lights, but green light behind here. Little switch up front. I set it so you can only activate it when ignition's on. Two strips under the gas tank, two strips under the seat, and like I said, the R6 has got the integrated tails, or sorry, excuse me, integrated turn signals. All right, so find me on Total Ruckus under Mr. T, uh, or look for my Craigslist ad. I'm asking 2200.